Do you have a new Doberman puppy or are you thinking of getting a new Doberman puppy? Well, here is what you can expect every single month until that puppy is one years old. Yep, we're outlining it month by month so you know exactly what to expect. And you're only getting that right here on Doberman Play. start off at two months of age because this is or roughly eight weeks old this is the age that most owners bring home a new Doran puppy okay this first month there's a lot going on it's a super exciting month but there's a ton going on so this first month you're gonna be really acclimating them to the new home is the first thing and that's really important you can expect some crying at night but anywhere between one day to two weeks of crying you're gonna develop routines with your dog really do get some bonding going so they start to bond with you uh, you're going to adapt to them kind of as they need and change things as needed to kind of get in a routine and a flow. And you're going to hopefully learn what really motivates your dog. It's going to help you a ton in training. Are they treat motivated? Are they praise motivated? Do they love toys interacting with you? What motivates your dog and gets them excited? You're also going to be doing a ton of potty training during this time. First month home, lots of potty training, being very consistent with that. Crate training, uh, most people do that at night to help with the potty training. Uh, and that's really important too, at least out of the, out of right out of the gate. Confidence building, that's gonna be a big one. It really gets them comfortable in their home, feeling good. It's gonna really lead to better socialization when you start exposing them out to new things. Uh, starting basic command training is also really important really early on in this first month. Basic commands such as sit, stay, lay down, leave it, you know, things like that. Um, and that's really important just so that they learn how to uh, train with you, if nothing else. Yes, the commands are important, but they learn how to train with you, and that actually helps them bond as well with you. You're gonna start heavy socialization, super critical, because you're right now, in this first month, you're right now in the critical socialization window that lasts from four weeks of age to 16 weeks of age, so you need to get as much socialization as possible, expose them to new places, people, sounds, animals, experiences as you can. Uh, hopefully you'll have your first vet checkup, and you'll kind of develop like a care plan with the vet and start the vaccine schedule. You're also going to introduce them to gentle play. And what is that? What is gentle play with no nipping and biting and kind of set those expectations very early on. Also, if you're going to get your dog's ears cropped, this would be the time to do it. For most dogs, talk to your vet, of course. Uh, but if you decide to do it, this is usually when it happens. And then you'll be starting to post the dog's ears in place. So as they age and the cartilage firms up, then the ears will stand in position. And you'll probably be feeding them about four meals a day to start. This is that first month, super critical month, a lot going on this first month. Other months will be easier, but this is where you start. Okay, three months of age. You now have a three month old puppy and congrats, you got through that first month with your dog that is huge. You are well on your way right now to having an awesome, well-behaved Doberman. Right now though, the teething stage begins, which is a big deal. Along with that, destructive chewing is gonna begin. They're gonna start having really sore gums. They might get a little whiny. You're gonna find teeth kind of just like laying around the house. It might freak you out a little bit at first, but a little bit of teeth laying out, it's kind of normal at this age when they're teething. Um, provide them plenty of chew toys, plenty of different textures and types and things to chew on and, and to get that pain out of their gums. Um, and it's really important too that you continue the heavy socialization at this point. Um, you're still in the critical socialization window, which means you get the best bang for your buck for your socialization. So keep going with it. Expose them, expose them, expose them to new sights, sounds, people, places, experiences, as many things as you can see. The more you do, the better behaved of a dog you're gonna have and the more versatile of a dog. You're not gonna have a dog that reacts when a bicycle goes by and starts going crazy and barking or reacts when a motorcycle drives by or, or any other millions of situations. So continue that, continue the socialization. They should be almost fully potty trained by now. Might be the occasional accident in the house. Um, if you have a dog door, they should be using it pretty consistently to go out to go to the bathroom. If you're doing something like you want your dog to alert at the door, like bash some uh, bells that are hanging from the door or cry at the door, that might take a little bit longer, but you should be getting pretty close. Um, you can start to also introduce them right now to some advanced puppy training. Now that three months of age, you've got kind of the acclimation part done because they're not two months old anymore. You didn't just bring them home. They've had about a month in your house now. 
Um, you can start asking them to do a couple more advanced things like you can introduce them to leash training, the heel position, um, and one or two advanced, don't overload them, but one or two advanced things like bed, where they go to their bed, start to kind of introduce them to that. Um, ear posting is going to continue through this month. And also, they should be still pretty much on four meals a day. Uh, talk to your vet, of course, but most owners right now are still four meals evenly spaced throughout the day. Okay, now you have a Doberman puppy who's four months of age. Congrats if you made it this far. You've been doing pretty good because you've got through a couple tough months. But at four months of age, the critical socialization window is going to close during this month. And that is huge. Take advantage of it. You don't know exactly the precise day, so just continue socialization right now. That is big, and hopefully you've been doing it all along, and I'm gonna want you to continue doing it past this, but right now you're getting still the most bang for your buck as far as socialization goes, but at some point during this month, it's gonna close, so keep it going. Um, Teething is going to continue during this month. Teeth will still be falling out, falling out on occasion. They'll have sore gums. They're going to be doing the nipping and the biting. So really, really hang in there for that. Um, they should be fully potty trained by now. Uh, four months of age, they should definitely be fully potty trained um, or with very rare, if ever, an accident inside the house. This is also generally the last of the puppy vaccines, depending on what schedule your veterinarian is going by, which is a great thing because then you can start to feel more comfortable about taking your dog out in public. Uh, also, testing of your boundaries. That begins when they're about four months of age. Um, it might begin before that, but it really kicks into high gear at four months of age. They're gonna be testing your leadership, um, what they can get away with and that kind of thing. It's really important to be a consistent, very calm leader, have lots of patience, um, and they're gonna really increase those mischievous behaviors. You're gonna really see them, like they're getting smarter now, so they're gonna start using that and ignoring commands that they know very well because they're starting to get a little stubborn streak. They're feeling more comfortable in their environment, right? So they're pushing the boundaries. This is a dominant dog breed, so they're going to be pushing some boundaries. They might steal some of your items and run off with them. They might start digging in the backyard on occasion or getting more demanding for like walks and attention and that kind of thing. It, they're really going to be pushing, and this is where leadership's really going to be important. Um, ear posting is going to continue through the four month mark. Uh, and you, around here, you can generally reduce down to three meals a day, evenly spaced throughout the month as well. Okay, month five. Your puppy is now five months of age. This is a very trying month as well, simply because a lot of owners here are kind of like getting up their wits end. They're like, is this ever going to get better? You're at, you have a five month old puppy. Trust me, hang in there. You're getting very, very close to a downhill slope now. Just keep doing what you know is right and stay consistent and stay calm. I can't stress that enough. Continue the socialization here, very important. Teething is gonna continue through the fifth month of their life. Also, they're gonna be testing the boundaries and they're gonna be testing even more. They might become more pushy and more demanding. Um, strong leadership is really gonna be important. Uh, puppy biting and nipping, almost over. You're so close. Just hang in there for this month. Um, Please just stay strong, interrupt it every chance you get. Don't let them get used to it. Don't let them start getting in the habit of mouthing on the hands. Make, make the teeth on the hands or teeth on the body very foreign to them. Interrupt and redirect constantly. Um, you might be able to stop posting your dog's ears at around five months of age. A lot of owners are able to, however, it's a really good idea just to give an extra month, go to the six month mark just to be safe. Um, but of course, talk to your vet, they have the ultimate say. Um, and three meals a day here, evenly spaced. Again, if you want to do this, it's really um, mo more smaller meals throughout the day is not a bad thing for a Doberman, especially with the risk of bloat for these dogs. So if you want to do four, that's great. But you, a lot of owners at this point do reduce to three. Uh, but five months of age, a lot of it is just towing the line right here and just trust me, it'll get better and you're very, very close to that. Once the teething stage ends here, pretty quick and you'll see it gets a lot better. Okay, before we get onto that super critical six months of age, which is next, I do want to take a second to ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. If that subscribe button is red, that means it needs you to click it. You gotta click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to turn on all notifications. That way we can keep learning more about this breed week by week, bit by bit together. It should make your life just a whole lot easier. And if you would, take a look in the description of any of the Doberman Planet videos, including this one, and you'll see tons of resources down there to help you out with a new dog or new puppy. A great one is a new puppy shopping list. People love that one because we've done all the hard leg work for you and shown you what works really well with a Doberman puppy. So check that out in the description down below of any of the videos. And uh, okay, let's continue on. Okay, you now have a six-month-old Doberman puppy. Congrats. 
you are through a lot of it. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And the worst is going to be over soon. So hang in there. Six months of age is not bad at all. Continue socialization through that. I'm probably going to stop saying that in the next following months, but just keep going. Socialization all the way through. Be consistent with it. Very important. Even though the critical socialization window has ended, still continue. Um, teething stage is ending now. You should be celebrating. Go, go out to dinner, get a glass of wine, celebrate today. Because during this month, teething stage is ending. The, the gums are going to start not being as sore. You won't see the puppy teeth falling out. Um, and so, therefore, the puppy biting and nipping should also be wrapping up pretty soon as well, as long as you've been very consistent, made sure that biting on the hands and all that stuff has remained a foreign thought to your dog, because you interrupt them all the time. It's not their habit, hopefully. Um, at six months of age, also, their cropped ears should be close to standing, if not standing already. A lot of Doberman owners at this point can unwrap their dog's ears. Talk to your vet, of course, that did the cropping. They'll know better, but um, a lot of Doberman owners can stop wrapping at this point. Some of the really long ear crops or dogs with really thin ear cartilage may need to wrap longer, but many dogs right now are able to stop doing that. Um, it's also a great time to start obedience classes. They're very primed for that mentally right now at this age, and that extra socialization is very good for them. And following that direction and that focus from you in the middle of a class with lots of distractions, super good to do right now at six months of age. So if you haven't enrolled them in an obedience class, this is a great time to do it. Your dog's probably at anywhere between a half to three quarters their adult height right now. So they should be growing pretty quick. Um, hormones are kicking in big time right now. You're really gonna notice this for the males. They're gonna start lifting their legs more uh, in the six month mark, uh, marking things. Uh, they could get more defiant at times. And you may also see a little bit of a regression in potty training because they have those hormones kicking in, they feel the urge to mark, they don't exactly know what to do, they might pee inside a little bit more. And you might be like, wow, they, they, they were doing better, why is there this regression? It's pretty normal for males. Just rock solid consistency, make sure they start going out and don't let them get in the habit of marking inside the house. But don't get frustrated with a small regression that does happen sometimes. They're going to be testing these boundaries also with you. Those hormones are really putting that into overdrive. Um, you also might notice their protective instincts really kicking in around six months of age. Um, that Doberman protective instinct. They might become more wary of strangers. Uh, you might notice them just kind of becoming more in tune with you at this point. Uh, barking might start to become an issue right now during this month as well. Um, that's all very common for this, for this age. Uh, you probably are still at three meals per day. Again, evenly spaced, a meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, next up, and we're clumping a few of these months together, is seven months of age to 12 months of age. During that time, there's a lot of kind of just toeing the line, just holding the line, holding strong, but you are through the worst of it. You are officially on the downhill slope. So congratulations, you are getting through it. Um, right now, you're gonna see some huge improvements in behavior. Uh, hopefully, as socialization has been going the whole way through as well. For unspayed females, you're gonna be seeing their first heat cycle around this time as well, usually between six to eight months of age. Uh, puppy nipping and biting should also be resolved during this time as well. Fully resolved um, during this time frame, as long as you've been consistent, and uh, usually it's at the beginning of this time frame, closer to seven months or so. You should start to see it pretty resolved. Um, you should also be seeing huge improvement with just general behavior training. Uh, leash training should be vastly improved during this time. Uh, not jumping on people when they come to the house, that kind of thing. Just general, just general behavior and being a good steward is, is of the dormant marine is just really important right now. Um, you can introduce them also to off-leash training right now. Uh, slowly and in safe environments um, during the seven to 12 month period if they're ready for that, if they've been doing really good with leash training and are really focused on you and responsive to you and you have a good recall command. Uh, also, you can transition them to a bed instead of a crate at night. Usually in this time frame, I usually go around eight months of age is when I start to experiment with this. You know, uh, I still keep them contained in the room, but I usually experiment around here with just having them have an open bed in the room instead of a crate. Uh, also, you can transition them to free roaming inside of your house during this time as well. I usually go for 10, 11 months or so when I do that with my dogs. Um, they seem to be ready around then, but again, it just depends on how much you trust your dog while you're away. Uh, testing of your boundaries should slow down during this time because they're starting to really get dialed in, get used to what you expect of them, and really want to uh, do right by you and really want to uh, please you as the owner. They will know what's expected now but they still can be occasionally defiant at times. They're still a dominant breed. 
um, but the behavior is getting more dialed in. So that's where still being a consistent, strong leader is important during this time frame. Uh, also during this time frame, ear posting should come to a finish if it hasn't already. Usually it's near the beginning of this seven to 12 month mark, but uh, you know it's different per dog. And, and any questions at all, talk to your vet. And most, most dogs are still on three meals per day, evenly spaced throughout the day. Now this is a cool stretch. It's a long one, seven to 12 months all clumped together, but it's a cool stretch because you're starting to see things ease up as the owner and you're starting to get motivated by that. So that's why this is a cool section. Okay, 12 months and above. Congrats, you made it. Celebration is in order with your dog, of course. Uh, you have an adult Doberman. They're now officially considered an adult. You're through that puppy stage. You're through that first year, which can just tear people's hair out. You see, I have some thinning hair. Yep, that's because of that. Um, but you made it. Uh, they should be at their full height now. Uh, they will still fill out a little bit, so they'll gain a little bit more weight, but they should be at their adult height right now. Um, and they'll usually gain weight into, until 18 to 24 months of age, so they still will have a little bit more room to grow as far as that goes. But um, they should be very well acclimated of what's expected of them. They should be part of the routine in the house. Um, you should have them fairly well integrated. Um, they're going to be much easier to manage at 12 months of age, much easier. Just on a day-to-day -day basis, they should be just just a lot calmer, know what's expected of them. They'll still have their moments, but it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, and around here is where a lot of owners find they can reduce down to two meals per day, a breakfast and a dinner. Talk to your vet if you have any question. But here, you made it. 12 months of it, you have an adult Doberman and you got through that worst stage, that first year, it's trying times. If you could get through that and you're here now and you have a relatively well-behaved Doberman, You've done things very well and you can start enjoying life a lot more with your dog, of course. If any of this was useful, guys, do make sure you're subscribed down below, but also consider subscribing to the Doberman Planet email newsletter. We do have one. If you go to DobermanPlanet.com slash newsletter, you can sign up right there. Just enter in your email address and you'll get kind of frequent uh, or semi-frequent, I don't bombard you, um, uh, emails to your inbox which really helps to sharpen your skills. A lot of helpful hints, helpful tips, some timely things about Dobermans in there that could really help the average Doberman owner and help them to provide the best possible life for their dog. So check that out at DobermanPlan.com slash newsletter. And don't forget guys, hit that like button down below. And if you have a Doberman puppy now, or maybe you used to have a Doberman puppy and they're all grown up now, what part uh, did you find the roughest in that first year? Or did I miss anything? Leave a comment down below, help some other people out. We'd love to have you help some people out. Uh, and you know, it's a lot of work, but in the end, you have an awesome, well-behaved adult Doberman and it makes it all this totally worth it. Oh, and real quick, before you take off, the YouTube algorithm, YouTube gods have gone through every single video on my channel and out of all my videos, they think that the one that you are gonna love the most is that one right there. Are the YouTube gods right? I don't know, why don't you click it and check out. Oh, and if you need some cool ideas for puppy toys, and your puppy's gonna need a lot of them, check out that video. I've tested almost every toy out there that's great for a Doberman. Go ahead, pick one of those two. I'll wait right here. I don't think you can go wrong.